One of the most common scenarios that you will notice whenever you visit someone having a home theater is that they have these multiple remote controls lying around next to the system. Now, typically with so many remote controls, one always feel that operating a home theater is going to be a tedious task and it's not going to be an easy affair at all. But guess what? In today's video, I am going to introduce you to one magic trick that will actually eliminate all of these remote controls and will ensure that you use only one remote to operate the entire system. Now, this video is for all of you who have a TV with a soundbar, a projector screen based home theater system or even to those of you who have got a TV as well as a projector screen. So make sure to watch the video till the end to find out all the possible answers in understanding how to eliminate multiple remote controls in your home entertainment setup. In a home theater, do you know how many remote controls are there? Well, for instance, in this room right now, we have got one remote for the motorized screen. Then we have got one remote for the AV receiver. Next up, we have got one more remote for the projector. Then, okay, there's one remote for Fire TV stick and one more remote for the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. So guess what? We have got already five remote controls in this small setup and using these five remotes only to watch one movie or one match is going to be a tedious task and nobody wants to do that. So today I'm going to show you how by using only one of these remote controls, I can control the entire setup and eliminate the need of all these remotes. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press the power button of the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. Now NVIDIA is the main input source that is going to be connected or that is rather connected to the AV receiver and AV receiver is further connected to the projector. So let us see what happens when I press the power button of NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. Now, once I press this power button, the first trigger is going to be sent out to the AV receiver. After the AV receiver, the next trigger is gone to the projector and then we have got the entire system turned on. Isn't that magic? Well, this magic is possible only cause of one element and that is called HDMI CEC. HDMI CEC stands for HDMI Consumer Electronics Control. Now many brands have got various nomenclature to it. Let's see what are those. Now HDMI CEC as you saw has got various names given by various brands but the usage of all is same. For instance, the things that you can do with HDMI CC is you can turn on and off the entire system. You can control the volume levels using the remote control and you can even toggle between inputs using a remote control. For instance, if I now have to switch back to let's say Fire TV stick as a media input, all I have to do is just turn on the Fire TV stick and automatically the input will then go on to the Fire TV stick input mode. That's how easy it is and these remote controls of projector or AV receiver which you primarily use only for turning on and off can be eliminated. Also with modern day remote controls which have got volume buttons on it, you can actually control the AV receiver's volume using these remote controls. Now HDMI CEC is a very very important feature for this very reason because it makes your remote an all-in-one remote. But this is not entirely an all-in-one remote control because for certain advanced settings of individual components, you still have to go back to the old remotes of those devices so that you can customize or you can do the settings of that particular device. For instance, if I have to run the settings of the projector, I'll have to still use the projector settings button to change, let's say, picture mode or to change anything in that. Similarly, if I have to do some adjustment in the audio section, I'll have to go back to the AV receiver's remote control to do that. But the best part is, at least for the basic needs of volume control and turning on and off the system, HDMI CEC can be used. So where can you find HDMI CEC in your devices? Well, first of all, not all the devices in the world are compatible with HDMI CEC. For instance, if you're using a 10 year old TV, it may not have HDMI CEC feature, but if you're using something which is purchased four or five years ago, then it is definitely going to have HDMI CEC. For instance, in this projector, which is an Android TV projector or for movie, we can see 
that when I go into the device preferences and into the input mode, they have given a special section for the consumer electronics control. This is the HDMI control, which allows the TV to control the HDMI devices connected to it. Next up we have is the device auto power off. So I have to individually turn these things on and off based upon the usage so that that action that you perform is coordinated properly. Next up, we have the entire list of the devices that are connected to it. So as you can see on the HDMI 3, it has automatically detected that we have got the Denon AVR X1700H as well as an NVIDIA Shield TV. So this is the beauty of having multiple remotes eliminated by going ahead with an HDMI CC feature. That was cool, right? Well, you can achieve this magic in your home setups as well, simply by going into the settings of all the products that you're using. For instance, if you have got a TV along with the soundbar, just go into the TV settings and make sure that the TV is connected to the soundbar using an HDMI cable. Now in HDMI cable settings of the TV, you will find HDMI CC as the feature. Similarly to those of you who are using home cinema setups using AV receiver, projector screens, in that case as well, you will find all the HDMI settings in your AV receiver, projector, as well as the input media players. So turn on these CC features and make sure to use this magic trick to eliminate multiple remote controls in your home theater. But one trigger warning that I would like to share out here is that HDMI cables are prone to damages due to power supply. And when you turn on the CC, you allow the HDMI cables to transmit power from one device to the other, causing damages either to the HDMI ports or to the HDMI cables that are laid between the devices. So make sure to safeguard your system using a good UPS, online UPS or a power conditioner to ensure that there is no bad power given to any of your system. We have done an entire video on this. So if you want to watch that, make sure to check the link above or the one that is shared in the description. Now, if you want to know some of the more cooler hacks to enjoy a great home cinema experience, then make sure to watch our playlist for the same. And to those of you who want to design or upgrade their home cinema experience, then for you guys, I've got a special gift in the pinned comment. Go check it out. That's it from my end. I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. We'll see you again in the next video. Thank you so much.